Okay, so let's talk about JavaScript pop-up boxes. So pop-up boxes are basically built in browser methods that create simple dialogues that interact with users, right? So we are really familiar with quite a few having followed the course, for example, here, so I can just say alert, alert, hello world, right? So this is the first pop-up box, which is basically the alert box. And we go hello world here, as you can see, and another box, which we know about. Oh, well, I don't think I've introduced this one yet. Confirm. So the way that you would use the confirm box is confirm. So do you want to proceed? For example, are you sure? Right. And in fact, let me just store this into a value. So const, let's just say confirmation. Let's see what it returns here. Confirmation. And I'll just go console log, console.log confirmation. There we go. Save this and refresh. Are you sure? Okay, there we go. And if I go to my console, so I'm just gonna go here, developer tools. So more tools, developer tools, and it's true. Okay. And if I refresh again here, if I go cancel, it's false. So you can just use this as, as a way of in conditions, conditionals, right? So confirmation is a true or false. So if and else statements, you can certainly use the confirmation box in that particular manner. And of course, there's another one that exists, a prompt, of course. And I think I can just use this to make a calculator. So for example, let num1 equal two, and I'll have to go, excuse me, prompt. Okay, so please enter number one, like so. And then we'll go let num2. Actually, let me just copy this whole thing here. Please enter number two, like so, and I'm just going to go, uh, that's uh, equal to number one plus number two. Actually, I'm not exactly sure if this would be a number exactly, right? It could be just concatenation, excuse me. Let me just say I add 15 and five. And of course, I didn't console log, so I could just go here sum in the actual console. Sum is 155, so this is concatenation. So the way you would want to do this, actually, is to go parse int, I believe. Parse int. And plus int. Hopefully, this is not, I didn't mess this up. Okay, plus int is not defined. Maybe you go plus int lowercase, of course. Plus int lowercase, like so. And let's refresh here. Okay, there we go. So 15, 5. And of course, what is sum? I didn't put the console log. So sum is 20. There we go. So sum is 20. I just put sum here and gives the value in the console. So sum is 20. I could also just go console log. So that's how it would work. So it's basically it comes as a string right when you enter a value using the prompt pop-up box and you have to use this parse int just make sure it's small it's a, a lowercase letter right i made a mistake there earlier with the uppercase letter so that's how that would work so the three pop-up boxes we looked at alert we looked at confirmation right the confirm box and we look at the prompt box thank you